This is Laura GB. Welcome to day eight of my 12 days of components. Happy New Year if you're watching this on the day it's released. And we're moving um, from Christmas trees and presents to a New Year topics. We're going to look at a star rating, how to display those coloured in stars. So if it's three out of five, to display three gold stars and two grey. So let's get going. Here we are in our app. Our previous screen from earlier things is there at Christmas, but we've got a new screen for New Year. And we're going to go to Components, and we're going to add in a brand new component. So the first thing we're going to add into this component is a gallery to display our stars. So on the Insert ribbon, there's Gallery, and I'm going to go for a blank horizontal gallery okay so it, it's asked me what data source now I haven't got a data source in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in in square brackets I'm just going to list numbers separated by commas so that gives me five rows of data okay now which will give me my five stars is what it's going to go for. So now we're going to do a few things. Um, my template padding, I always set back to zero, and my template size is going to be, let's take out all of that part, and it's called gallery one at the moment. So we're going to go for gallery one dot width, and then I want to divide it by however many parts we've got in the gallery, which I know at the moment is five, but a little later it could be another number. So we're going to go for count rows of gallery one dot all items. Okay, and so there we are, that gives my gallery if I zoom out a little bit, you can see what I'm doing. That gives my gallery a template width that fit will fit all of my items in. So now let's just make this gallery actually fit where we want it to be. Let's do the dimensions. So over here on the right-hand side, um, the X and the Y are going to be 0, 0. And the width, funnily enough, if we haven't yet got this down to a fine art from all my videos, is parent.width. And the height is parent.height. And I'm actually going to make the component a lot shorter. Let's make that into about 120 in height. Okay, so there we go. We can see how big it is, and we're going to fit them into there. So let's go into our gallery here. Okay, I've clicked onto the one pane of the gallery, so we're at the template level, and we are going to insert a picture. So I'm going to go to media and I'm going to go for image. And let's make that fit the image. So actually, let's make it a little bit in. So I am going to go for that being 10 by 10 in. And then let's make the width the parent dot template width minus 20. Okay. And let's make these square. So that, that means we take the height and we make that into, now this is image three. I will rename it in a moment. So image three dot width. And there we are, they will be square. Okay, so we're going to go with, I said I'd rename it, so let's rename that to be my star. So I've already sorted out some SVG for this, so let me just expand that formula bar there and paste it in. So we've got some SVG and we've got a path that draws some stars and I've coloured them all in light grey. Okay, so what we're going to do 
is we are going to, firstly, I want to be able to vary the number of stars that are going to show. So let's go for, looking at our component, we haven't renamed it. Let's rename it whilst we're here. So day 08, star rating. So we're going to add, so back over to the right hand side again, we're going to add a new custom property and I'm going to call it max score. So this is how many, what's the maximum score that can come into here? So maximum number of stars and it's going to be an input. Now data type is not going to be text, it's going to be a number. Okay. And we're going to click, click create. And let's make that max score. Let's make it six. Just to be a little bit different from the five. So then if I come into here, into the gallery, you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five. Now what I'm going to do into there is I'm going to say that actually I can only cope with up to ten. So we put in the maximum ten. And there we are. We get our ten little grey stars. And that's lovely and beautiful. But now what we want to do is we want to limit it to what our max score is. So we're going to wrap it all in a function called first n. So take the first nth number of items from 1 to 10. Okay. And we're going to put into there, comma, and then the number of items to return is going to be the parent dot max score round brackets press return and there we are we get six stars that works i like that okay so that limits that down so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in another new custom property and we're going to call this one score okay And this is the score to show in gold stars. Okay, right. And again, data type, change from text to a number. This will allow us to do comparisons between the two. So then create. So now I'm going to go back into my image, my star inside my gallery. And let's expand this formula bar. So we're going to use one of my favorite my favorite parts of power apps, which is a with function. So we start with the with at the top here. And the first part of the with is we need some JSON. So I'm just going to put that on a separate line. And then we have a comma. And then a, another bracket on the end. Now that doesn't do any changes at the moment, but it just lays it out a little bit. And if I press format text, there you are, that tidies up, that neatens it up a bit. So inside my JSON there, I can put in a like, temporary variable. So I'm going to call this star color. Right? So do you remember we've got one, two, three, four. So if the score is one or more, we want the first star to be yellow. So... We're going to put in an if into here. So inside that if, we're going to go for if this item dot, now it's only got a couple of properties, value is one of them, which is the one, two, three, four, okay, is less than or equal to, okay, the, now we can't use parent here, so we're going to have to go day 08 star rating, dot, the score, okay, so if it's less than the score, comma, then the colour we want our star to be is gold, now that's one of the recognised colours, that's why I can just put that in as gold rather than having to know the hex string. 
If it's not, okay, then we're going to stick to our light grey. And then on the end of that, I'm going to put in a bracket. Okay, so that's done my formula there, but I haven't used it yet. So where we're going to use it is in this fill down here, into there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in, we're going to split the string as I have done numerous times in these videos. And yet again, the code will be, there will be links to the code in the bottom. And into there, we're going to put in our star. And if you see, there you go, it's giving me the name star color. That's all fine. Got rid of the red wiggly lines. Has it worked? All of my stars are a colour. So let's just go back and have a quick look at here. And in my score, my score currently is 100. Hence all my stars are yellow. So let's just change that to 3. And there you are. We have 3 gold stars. If I change my max score back to 5. I've now got 5 stars and 2 gold sorry I've got three gold stars and two grey so let's just prove that works back into our screen and we go on to the insert ribbon and we go to custom and we add in our star rating okay now quite bizarre here if I look at max score three and score sorry max score five and score three it appears to not have worked if I go into the score though and I put in a different score. They are, hey presto, it's worked. And if I put it back to three, it works. It doesn't work when you first drop it on there. Don't know if that's a feature or a bug. Anyway, there is our star rating. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now. Mm -hmm.